hope you enjoy the next hour of us making noise. Okay, let's do it. My name is Lauren Wisnett. I am the band director at Glenbard North High School. I was trying to figure out a way to make sure that students could still interact with each other, we could still play together, and knowing how much my students love all things football and they love the football season, when our football season got postponed, we realized very quickly that we were going to have these Friday nights uh, already reserved and with nothing to do. So it was kind of the perfect, perfect storm of we have all this free time now. We have all these students wanting to get together. Is there a way that we can combine both of those uh, and make it a really special experience? And primarily because they've been rehearsing alone in their bedrooms and garages and you know basements, this is a great opportunity to finally get outside and play at full volume and be able to hear the rest of the band. Before we're in class, we're really not able to listen to each other. And I think that's a very like important part of being in really any ensemble. You have to listen to, you know, the other people in the band to actually make some sort of, you know, stylistic choice in what you want to play. And if you can't do that in like a Zoom meeting, then, you know, it's really restricted in what you're actually playing. So this really gives everyone the opportunity to be together on the field and, you know, have that benefit of actually rehearsing, but also have, you know, the option of going to what it was like before and have that sense of normalcy too. So it's like both benefits of that. It really like fulfills me in a way because since we've all been um, at home quarantined and stuff, it gives me a chance to just go outside and just have fun. When my band director told me that we were uh, all going to do Friday Night Lights, I was really happy about the idea because we were actually able to be together, even though it's for it's a short amount of time. It's still a great thing, and um, I'm so glad that she was able to make that happen for us. Many of us got into music because we liked working with other people. We liked being able to form an ensemble where everybody is on an equal footing and everybody brings their best to make a great end product. And that's why the Friday Night Lights are such an important part of what we're doing with remote learning. I was speaking to one of our administrators and mentioned that I think this is the hardest I've ever planned and worked on something for essentially an hour of rehearsal when we really got down to it. So uh, this start planning process started in the summer of trying to figure out uh, what we were going to be able to do, what we would be able to do safely. So there was a lot of back and forth and collaboration, particularly between our administration, especially uh, Deborah Cartwright worked quite a bit with us, Matthew Bowser. Uh, we also coordinated with our activities director, Kevin Airday, and just a lot of moving parts, a lot of little details that we didn't want to get in the, in the situation of getting there Friday night and going, oh, we didn't think about this. So we tried to think of it from every different angle for a very long amount of time. My band director, Miss Wisner, is definitely the type of person to, you know, not give up when it gets difficult and always be looking for, you know, alternative solutions to make the best out of a you know, situation. So I'm definitely grateful that she was able to, you know, push this far for us to be able to do this and actually you know, be able to see each other and rehearse together. It makes me feel really appreciative of her and all of her efforts because, I, like you said, it takes a lot of work. She always advocates for us all the time, you know, school related or just anything related. She always back and always wants the best for us. And so um, I know that she, I knew she was going to do something. She was going to try to do something for everyone. And so I'm just really glad and I'm, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better band director. <laughs> I would suspect that for a lot of these guys, they don't view it as just another rehearsal. Uh, it's kind of their lifeline. Of their, it's giving them something to keep staying motivated and knowing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it's not just one more day after one more day. It's like Groundhog Day. Every day seems to be the same. We're just trying to liven their lives up a little bit and just keep them going through this really difficult time. But Friday Night Lights gives us like the opportunity to actually be able to do what we're supposed to do during rehearsal, which is conduct for the band. Um, so I'd say that's like the major benefit that I get from doing this. Listening to everybody all together at once, since we have to play by ourselves, so getting to hear everyone in all the different parts just makes it much more like of a magical experience. It's so great to see everyone. And uh, when I was on the podium and conducting with my fellow uh, drum majors, it was just so great. Like, I just got a burst of energy that when I normally practice, like, in my room with the recording, I don't really get. 
But when I was with everyone, like, I just felt so, like, energized and so excited. And I felt like my conducting was so much better. And I just felt I had more passion into it. It was just great overall. And I don't know, the experience was so great. It's one night of being able to kind of get away from the screens, um, put all of the schoolwork and the stress and, and everything else aside for just a brief moment where their only concern is, how does that rhythm go in Measure 42? Uh, so I think this is, it's a really big deal for all of us involved.